Hello, in this video we will be graphing y equals to 3 cosine of 2x. The first thing we need to do is to calculate the amplitude and in order to do so we can always take the coefficient of cosine and take the absolute value of it which will always produce a positive value. So the coefficient of cosine is 3 and absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. So the amplitude is equal to 3. The next thing we need to do is to calculate the period. And in order to calculate period, we take 2 pi and divide it by the coefficient of x, which is 2. 2 and 2 will cancel and this gives us pi. So period is equal to pi. The next thing we need to do is to calculate the phase shift. So we need to make sure that angle is equal to 0, so 2x has to be equal to 0. 2 is multiplying x, the inverse is to divide by 2. And we do the same thing to the other side. 2 and 2 will cancel and we get x is equal to 0. So our phase shift is equal to 0. The next thing we need to do is to calculate quarter of the period. And in order to do so we take period and divide it by 4. So quarter of the period is pi, which was the period, out of 4. So quarter of the period is pi divided by 4. Now we need to calculate the 5 key x values. The first x value is always the phase shift. And the phase shift is 0, so x1 is 0 as well. The next x, 2, can be calculated by taking x1 and adding quarter of the period to it. So x2 is equal to 0 plus quarter of the period is pi out of 4. So x2 is equal to pi out of 4. The next x3 can be calculated by taking x2 and adding quarter of the period to it. So x3 is equal to x2 was pi out of 4 quarter of the period is also pi out of 4 and we get x3 is equal to we have common denominator of 4 we have a pi in the first numerator plus pi from the second numerator and we get x3 is equal to 2 pi out of 4 both 2 and 4 can be divided by 2 2 divided by 2 gives us 1 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 so x3 is equal to pi out of 2. The fourth x can be calculated by taking x3 and adding quarter of the period to it. So x4 is equal to x3 was pi out of 2 plus quarter of the period is pi out of 4. We need a common denominator to combine these fractions and the smallest number that can be divided by 2 and 4 is 4. So if we multiply 2 by 2, we will get 4 in the first denominator. Whatever we do to denominator, we need to do the same thing to numerator, so pi times 2. And we get x4 is equal to 2 pi out of 4 plus pi out of 4. This gives us x4 is equal to out of 4. We had 2 pi in the first numerator plus another pi from the second numerator. And we get x4 is equal to 2 pi plus 1 more pi. We have 3 pi out of 4. The fifth x, 5, can be calculated by taking fourth x and adding quarter of the period to it. So x5 is equal to x4 is 3 pi out of 4 plus quarter of the period is pi out of 4. This will give us x5 is equal to out of 4. We have 3 pi in the first fraction plus pi from the second fraction. And we get x5 is equal to out of 4. 3 pi plus 1 more pi, we get 4 pi out of 4. 4 and 4 will cancel and we get x5 is equal to pi. So x5 is equal to pi. And if there are no shifts, the last point should be equal to the period. So now we can set up our x and y table. The first x value was 0, then we had pi out of 4, then we had pi out of 2, then we had 3 pi out of 4, 
and the last x value was pi. We need to substitute this into y equals to 3 cosine of 2x. If the run of shifts, cosine follows the pattern of first y being at the coefficient, which is 3, then it goes to 0, then it goes to the opposite of the coefficient, which will be negative 3, back to 0, and we return to 3 for the last point. However, you can absolutely take the x values and substitute them into 3 cosine of 2x. So the first x value is 0. So this will give us 3 cosine of 2 times 0, which is 0. So 3 times cosine of 0. And we get a 3. Then the next x value is pi out of 4. So we have 3 cosine of 2 times pi out of 4 instead of x. 2 and 4 can be reduced by 2, so 2 divided by 2 cancels. 4 divided by 2, we get a 2. So this will give us 3 cosine of pi out of 2. So 3 times cosine of pi divided by 2 is equal to 0. The next x value is pi out of 2, so we have 3 cosine of 2 times pi out of 2. 2 and 2 will cancel and we get 3 cosine of pi. So 3 times cosine of pi is equal to negative 3. The next x value is 3 pi out of 4, so let's substitute it into 3 cosine of 2x. So 2 times 3 pi out of 4 instead of x. 2 goes into 4 2 times and we get 3 cosine of 3 pi out of 2. Notice how this is a quadrantal angle. So 3 times cosine of 3 pi divided by 2 is equal to 0. And the last x value is pi, so 3 times cosine of 2 times x and x is pi. So this is 3 cosine of 2 pi, which is coterminal with the cosine of 0, but we can always double check with the calculator. So we have 3 times cosine of 2 pi and it's equal to 3. Once we have the table, we can sketch this graph. The first x value is 0, then we have pi out of 4. Make sure you space out x values evenly. Then we have pi out of 2, 3 pi out of 4, and the cycle ends at pi. The amplitude is 3, so the graph will go up to 3 and will go down to the negative 3. So when x is 0, cosine is equal to 3. It begins at the coefficient, goes to 0 at the pi out of 4, then at pi out of 2 it goes to the negative of the coefficient, goes back to 0, and the cycle ends at the coefficient when x is equal to pi. Once you have the 5 points plotted, make sure you connect it with the curves. So this is our y equals to 3 cosine of 2x graph. That's all.